Well, hello there, it's Wayne Robson here. So, this is the part three review. It's um, of the AMD Pro W9132 gig card. Uh, it's a little bit later than it should have been um, because it's been a bit of a busy week, to be honest with you, um, with work stuff, etc. So, uh, that's why this one's a little bit later. Now, my final views, and not just that, but both cards, including the WX. 7100. Um, now, even though, as I said before, AMD were nice enough to give me these cards for nothing, um, I've, I want to endeavour to do honest reviews of them. Now, without doubt, the best card is obviously the 9000 W9100, right? It's a 32 gig card, it is absolutely insane, and the idea that um, some people are putting four of those working together for 128 gig of RAM is mind blowing. Um, it works very well with um, VVRT and Max and Maya. Um, there isn't support for VVRT um, in Modo as it stands at the moment. Um, now, given the price of that card, um, it is overkill in most circumstances unless you you really, really need a powerful graphics card um, in which case great now obviously it gives insane frame rates in things like the Unreal Engine right which, which would be expected because uh, I was getting you know on the photo reel interior scene about was it 110 130 FPS which is way more than it needs to be um, it's a hell of a card it really is it is scary powerful the only problems they are is it's there's not as wide a support as uh, they could be across the applications, which I'm sure that AMD are working together with uh, certain companies to try and solve that. It's like for and you know we know that there's support coming in Nuke 11, okay, um, which will help people using Nuke. It doesn't really impact too much. Uh, it did you know I've. Obviously, I, when I edit these videos, I bring them into After Effects and stuff. So After Effects, yeah, that's behaving awesomely with these with video files. So yeah, it's a really good card. The W uh, X seven thousand one hundred. Now that is a hell of a workstation card. The things it's got going for it is it doesn't pull as much power as the W nine thousand one hundred. That pulls a lot of power at your system. You need a really decent sized um, power supply unit so I would um, 750 is I think from memory the the minimum recommended you probably want to go up for an 850 or a 1000 um, obviously even more than that if you're using you know multiple cards the WX uh, 7100 that pulls a lot less power it's a, it's a very compact car as you've seen um, it'll fit in most machines uh, and it's lovely and quiet. It's silent as hell, even when it's working heavily. Um, now, while I've, I've been able to max out both cards, it took a lot of doing, especially on you know the 32 gig card. It took a lot of work to try and get that to max out, and I was I really had to work hard and purposely try to bring it to its knees. Um, there's ways of doing it, you know. It's like even when um, there's nuke support. I can tell you right now, Nintendo knows how to bring it to its knees, and bring any graphics card to its knees. You know, it's very. There's, there's one particular node um, in nuke that is a massive resource hog, and that's the median node. Just put ten median blurs one after the other on a high setting, and it'll bring any graphics card to its knees. So that's stuff like that is less. Uh, about the graphics card is more about the software itself because every um, that's my phone um, graphics card is always at the mercy of the software so yes I'd like to see some you know wider support for the Ryan cards um, it's not dramatically uh, a big thing obviously if you're, if you're a Modo user and you use V-Ray then you know these cards at the moment are probably not for you right uh, same as if you're using Nuke a lot, probably at the moment, until the Nuke 11, not for you, right? Now, other applications, yeah, 
not a problem. Um, you've seen some of the insane things I've put it through, and I've put it through a lot worse than that with work scenes that I obviously can't show on a video. So, yeah, I love the cards. I would be very, very uh, curious to try them out with a VR headset like an Oculus Rift if I had access to one because um, I've got a feeling that, especially a 32 gig card, would be capable of some spectacular stuff. You know, the. Um, the highly creative part of me is curious about that, um, but you know, unfortunately I don't have access to one. So uh, that's my review, um, such as it is, and I hope for these reviews have been um, useful. If I come across anything else that I find important about either of these two cards, either good or bad, then I might put them in the video blog and I'll mention it, right? And I'll actually do have to do my video blog in a few seconds because I've got a backlog of videos now. So anyway. I hope you've enjoyed the review videos and I'll, I'll see you on the next time. Bye bye.